call me up. Call, call, call me up. Yes! Hello! It is me, Damon Daniel Dominotion Dominique. <laughs> I am here to tell you that this is a sponsored video by Notion. Thank God, because I've been trying to get them to do this again. <laughs> you might have watched my recent video about how I structure my life, and you saw that I use Notion. So today we're gonna we're doing a deep dive. Uh, my Notion apartment tour. Let's get in here. Hmm. By the way, you can download my template if you look in the description box below. Also, I feel like I should mention my French and Spanish course. You can do it all on Notion. Like you don't have to print anything out. You don't have to download anything. You duplicate it and you do it in your Notion. So you're literally using Notion to do my course. Okay, back to the video. Call me you. All right, this is my dashboard. You guys are like, that's it? <laughs> that's because everything is nestled. Everything's nestled. Everything's hidden. Number one thing you got to know is I try to use the same emoji for every thing that's similar. My notion's divided into two parts. What do I need to do now? And what do I need to do eventually? Just not right now. So that's why we have week and we have spider web. So spider, <laughs> we'll get the spider web. So the week, here we go. We go into the week. Now for the most part, I just leave this open over here on the left. And then to be honest, most of the days I'm just like in here, like this is today, lundi. And it's in French and English. I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just like it, okay? <laughs> For the most part, I keep my Notion open on the day of the week that it is. So today is lundi. Um, you can also see I'm doing the same thing. Like, what do I need to do right now? And what what is something I need to do but in the PM? So I divide everything by AM and PM. I'm honestly in here all day long. It's great for like building things out. You'll see. You can create, like even this, this button, new. I made this button. Anything you want to do on Notion, back, what is that key? The like backspace. And then these are all your options. Eventually you start learning them all like and you know which ones you want So for the most part the ones that I know the ones that I use are to do Boom now, you know your to-do list. I use a lot of headings. So backspace one Or backspace two or backspace three you end up getting the hang of it, right? But say we want to make that button backspace button <laughs> It's it's literally this easy. So I created one called new a new button you see i just typed it in here new you can name this button anything you want i call it new because it's going to be a new to-do list so you add action when the button is clicked i want it to create a to-do list insert block remember what how do we how do we get a to-do list backspace to do now anytime i click this button And you can see that's what I do here. So for example, personal, I've been going back and forth with my translation, getting my documents translated for the French passport. Boom, touch base with traducteur. And I mean, I don't know, I just like the bold things. I just like the bold things. Now, when things get done, this is kind of cumbersome, I'm just being honest. But you go over here, you can change the emoji. I change it to a green. And I also, <laughs> I told you I'm doing the most. And then you go over here and you can change the background to green. I'm a visual person. When today is over, this page should look like this. Now, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. When it does, this is what happens. I move the green over to what's called May complete. That way at the end of the month, end of May, I can look back and be like, eh, I really did that. Like I, here's everything that I accomplished this month. Cause you know, sometimes months go by and you're just kind of like, what did I, what even happened? So everything will be moved to May complete. Now when we're in May complete, we will end up seeing like everything from May right here. And what I tend to do is I, I don't know, I like put things up here, like here, here's my highlights. I'll you. <laughs> and then a lot of times they don't match up nicely. So I'll go in here and be like, my mom came to Paris. What I like about Notion is that everything has its place. I mean, you decide where you want to put it. In fact, you'll, you're probably looking at mine like, oh my God, this is so overwhelming. That's fine. You don't have to understand mine. You have to understand yours. Now, whenever this month is complete, I also move this. I move this. Don't get overwhelmed by all this stuff. It's fine. You don't have to know. You don't have to know. I have to know. 2024 done. That way in December when 2024 is done, I can go back through here and be like, let's see. See, this was January. I got a new camera. And then these were all the things I got done. Like, to be honest, I don't really go through here. <laughs> this was February, for example. See, I just launched my Global Citizen course in what, April? But I was still in my Notion in February. Like I filmed it in March. I so decided on doing it big for the travel course by renting a real studio in London, making a mood board and doing the damn thing. That was a highlight, that was a highlight. You know why I do this? Cause I got the receipts. That way at the end of the year, say I'm feeling amazing. I'll be like, nah, -huh. who wouldn't feel amazing? Look at all you did. Or if I'm feeling horrible, I'll be like, damn yeah maybe you shouldn't be doing so much or maybe you should be doing more let's get into the video inventory i've used this for years as well anytime i have a video idea or i'm working on it this video is actually in here uh look inside my notion right here 
See, this is exactly what we're talking about right now. Now, I'm sure if you've watched a lot of these other Notion walkthrough videos, you'll see that there's like, there's Notion, and then there's like advanced placement Notion. So in most of those videos, they're using what are called databases. And how do, how do we make a database? How do you make a database? Backspace data base. You would do this. That's what I did in this page. You can also filter the database to see only what you want to see at the time. So finished. These are all the videos that I finished in the past few years. But say you're like a college student. You could do this by college course and then you could filter by semester and each of the pages could be uh, your notes for that class or say you're working on projects for your boss. There you go. And then at the end, then at the end of the year, you can be like, I'm sorry, I deserve a promotion because here's everything I got done. This is just a new page, right? You can create what are called templates. See, new template. So I made a template last year. That way when I have a new video idea, I can go up here and be like, bada, 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 bada. So say I wanna make a video here in Paris and I want it to be kind of all out in the city. I could be like, the, the first shot that I wanna get is reading in Jardin du Luxembourg, walking the Seine, sitting on Metro. What will I do when I get those shots? What will I do? Turn it green. That's what I always do. Actually, this is how I used to do it. I used to do it like that with the, the file, but now I feel like it's cleaner to do it like this. This is why I, I didn't even, sorry, let me back up because I just did exactly what I do. <laughs> I needed to create a new element. So I backspaced, call out. That's what those th boxes are called. And because it knows that I just did this, it's, it already recognizes it, but that's not actually what I need. So <laughs> sorry, Notion, you did it incorrectly this time. You see, this is, this is my new way of doing it. I feel like it's cleaner. I used to do it like this. Now watch. You see what I just did? It knew that that's what I wanted last time. It knew. I need to do another call out. It knew. Say I just need to see Q1 and Q2 videos. So Q1, what's the one I'm working on? This is the one I'm working on. Okay, we did that, we did that. All right, let's go into the 12 week day plan. This is something I started this year. I don't know if it'll catch on, we'll see. So I did this the first 90 days of the year. That's probably why those pages, the January, February, March complete were that way. <laughs> Because I was getting the then. In 90 days, it'll be April 2nd. Here's what I want to be done. And I write myself notes. I have so many little short videos on TikTok and Instagram, and I never, I just never get myself to post them. And I think one day I'm just going to post everything. <laughs> I feel like social media has changed where it used to be post as much as you can. And now I think people get sick of you if they see you all the time. So if I'm posting nonstop on Instagram and then TikTok, and then you see the newsletter, and then you see, I think people are like, all right, enough. Because there's people everywhere now, you know? Like they don't have to just rely on certain certain influencers to post. Everyone's posting. So that's fine. It's like, at least I have a solution now. So I write myself a note. You know what I, I would probably do now? I'd probably take this and I'd go like this and I would comment. I feel like this is better. That's probably what I would do. You can have notions with other people. Did I tell you that? I don't think I told you that. So you can share your notion with your team. For example, I share mine with my manager. Up here in the inbox, you could see, boom. Where's the Notion? Yeah, Notion. This is a sponsored video, right? So we're in contact with Notion. So Notion would go here. And this is the information that I need to know for the Notion video. I took out a few things. <laughs> took out a few, few parts. But you can see we, she's using a template so that each opportunity that comes through, she can click template. You can also mention somebody on a specific line item. Like if I didn't want to do this video, I would be like, at Franny, not feeling it. Ooh, now she's gonna, she's gonna go. Wait, she's gonna get notified. Yeah, no, sorry. I, I had a feeling you were going to get um, a notification. I was filming the video and I was showing how I could mention people. Your inbox works for getting notifications from other people, but also getting notifications from yourself. So I could go over here, May 20th delivery of video, and I could be like, remind, at remind, reminds tomorrow. Tom when tomorrow comes, I'm gonna get a notification. And then I'll be able to click the notification that brings me to this page. Like, oh, right, gotta deliver that video. I don't just use this with my manager. I use this with my friends. So when Paul and I went, we went to the Baltic countries. All this way. I mean, this frozen land of my best friend. And you're not even acknowledging my birthday is 14 hours from now. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Ulet's Notion. This is my friend, Paul. He started here. He created like a sample itinerary of places to go, how long it takes to get places. And then he invited me and so I could participate in this too. Go over here to itinerary. This is the one that I made. And as you can see, each day is green because we actually did them. So we go over here to call out. So this flights into Helsinki originally would have looked like that, right? Now, as you can see, they are all green because we got that shit done. It was his birthday. So, I mean, these weren't super like go to the gay club. Like that wasn't super hard to do. It just looks so good. All right. Now on to some pages that I've never heard anyone 
have before. Again, this is my this is my notion. This is my notion. So you don't have to use these, but maybe you want them. Okay, the first one. You know what? They're not even here. They're hidden down here in private. Ah. <laughs> Number one is <laughs> worry list. Um, every single day there's something to worry about, right? I wanted to do an experiment to see if what like what happens to my worries, and then if I could notice a pattern of things that I'm worrying about. And I realized after doing this page for a while that I was always worrying about the same sorts of things. This was so nice to have because after doing this for probably a year, like, okay, this is just the condensed version. <laughs> there's, there's more down here, baby. There's more. And then I would come back to the worry list like every week and write to myself what happened. Like what, what ended up happening with that? Like did, did the rash go away? <laughs> did your landlord find out you were subletting? Did you open that scary piece of mail you got? Every week I would go back and I would respond what actually happened. And you know, after a few months you notice, wow, I'm really always worrying about the same kind of thing. Anytime I have a consultation at a doctor, anytime I talk to my accountant, I write down what happened in that consultation or in that meeting. Cause you're gonna forget, you're gonna forget. For example, I went, let's see, son, this is my page called Sante Health Teeth. So in December, 2023, I went because I was feeling um, my wisdom teeth coming in. I, what happened? I don't feel them anymore. Actually, I leave myself these notes. That way the next time I go to the doctor, I'm not clueless to like what, what's been going on with myself. Or yeah, I went to the dentist and somehow I had 5,000 euros of dental work. And I'm like, I'm not, no, I don't. No, I don't. Same thing with my accountant. And it's accountants, plural, cause there's a French one and an American one. Cause they're speaking legalese and I don't know what they're saying half the time. So I write it down. So I know what we talked about last time. Okay, I'm glad that this is right here. This makes a lot of sense. Much like the worry list page, which is just like these trivial things to worry about. The solutions page though, is for these bigger questions that I have about my life. Like, do I want to stay in Paris? What am I going to do if my visa doesn't get renewed? So I go on my solutions page, I go under the Paris visa renewal and I write, there's a section on if I, if it gets renewed, I'm doing this. If it doesn't get renewed, I'm doing this. I think this is what gets people tripped up because for so much of their life, they get to rely on somebody else to really call the shots of their life, whether it's your boss or your high school guidance counselor, oftentimes your therapist, they're constantly people helping you out and giving you the answer. And I think, I know that Notion isn't even meant for this. It's just helped me have peace of mind. Here's what I'm doing if this happens. Here's what I'm doing if this happens. I also have this takeaways page. It's similar to the solutions page and kind of the worry list page. I should probably simplify them in some way. The takeaways is for anything that I spend a lot of time doing. Maybe I'll go on a trip. I just went to Brazil. So in the takeaways, I'll be like, here's how I felt after the trip in Brazil. Do I need to go back? Cause you know, in two years from now, when I'm like, maybe I want to go to Brazil. I'll look back at that and be like, here's how you felt when you just did it. One of the things in there, I had this production company reach out to me and we went back and forth for months and months and months. I had to hire a lawyer who I spent $3,000 on to look over the contract. Ultimately, I decided this wasn't the opportunity for me. And so I wrote all these notes down, almost like a diary. Like here are the questions that you need to ask the next time this happens so that this doesn't drag on. Since we're here, let me show you courses. This is more of a me thing, but I use Notion for everything I've done in the past few years. I did it for my TV show pilot. I did it for my book. I've done it for all of my courses. This is an example. So if you book my French course, you can do the whole thing in Notion. You can duplicate this and you can see, boom. So everything we go over in the videos in the course, you also can follow through here and then you can leave your own notes. In fact, actually, I think in this video, I emphasize that in French, you don't say, I. I don't understand, you say I didn't understand. It's like a past tense thing. So you could go over here and comment and be like, they say I didn't understand instead of I don't understand. Whatever. Same thing when you book the Spanish class. So it's all here. You can take all your notes. The latest course I just published was the Global Citizen course. And you could see I organized everything. <laughs> everything is right here. You could see there's, there's a page for every module. <laughs> I'm telling you. We, me and Notion get each other, okay? Because I made all these pages, I know that they're here, right? After launch, so I launched it, what, last week, two weeks ago? Modify the body text in 20 things I always pack newsletter because it's pointing to the global citizen. Oh, it's pointing to the wrong page. I gotta go change that link. Modify social media text. It's linking to a landing page to get on a newsletter that probably isn't available. And then you could see I reminded myself, boom. Upcoming travels, this is where I bookmark everything for my upcoming travels, so Mexico City. This is a, a woman, an artist who has a gallery and you know, like this is kind of my style. I like this stuff and I write it down because maybe I could feature her in a video or maybe I could book a class with her. <clears throat> this is my baby name, um, baby name page. <laughs> <I used> to, 
This actually was very helpful because I just bought a Nintendo Switch. I was like, what can I name my character? And then I went over here and I'm like, Felix. So his name is Felix. You know what else? I had this other page I'm not really using really. Things, yeah, exactly. I only have one thing. I just started this one. Things I bought and were they actually worth it? Am I still using it? Um, Nintendo Switch, no, I'm not. I'm not, I used it one time to name my character Felix. And you know what else? I think that I did this because my ex started seeing somebody and they're like playing video games together. And now all of a sudden I was like, <laughs> <clears throat> so I think I bought that honestly, because I thought that we could play video games together. Like, <laughs> yeah, not my best moment. Classes. I'm always trying to be learning in some way. It could be plants, it could be Portuguese, it could be graphic design. I'm always trying to learn something. So I keep a, a bookmark, this is like a bookmark page of all the courses that I will eventually wanna take. So these are the ones I wanna take next. Oh, 11 euros? Not just classes, movies. I don't wanna sit in front of Netflix for one more second. Scrolling. So I put movies that look interesting that I would wanna watch right here. Stuart Little. <laughs> and that's how it all gets done, folks. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get out of here. Thank you for watching. I wanted to just say, you guys can request videos. This video was a request, Jen. She wrote me a uh, an email like last year and we were going back and forth in voice notes. And all of a sudden, when I get back from Brazil just last week, all right, I was fresh off the flight 4 p.m. and like I did make it to my friend's show at 10. <laughs> Jen was in the audience. Jen doesn't even live in Paris. What? You can't explain some of these things. That's really cool. Leave a comment below if you guys want to request any other videos. I'm happy. Everything's kind of working. I mean, not in my love life. Maybe I should start a Notion page for that, okay? You can get everything in the description box below the template. You can get my courses. And I'll see you in the next one. If you guys have any other requests, let me know.